All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> What does love have to do with it? Everything. That's right. That is a big question from a, a huge song sung by now the late, uh, great Tina Turner, who's passed away recently, known as the queen of rock. We know the king of rock and roll was Elvis, of course. Now, Tina Turner was called the queen of rock and roll, passed away Recently, at age 83, I didn't realize she had a long illness for a woman. Uh, 180 million album sales in her career. Pretty I thought you were going to go off with her, starting with her age, and I was going to be like, I don't think she was that old. <laughs> That's very 480. No. Uh, she is the one, uh, only three, she's one of three women who have been inducted into the Cleveland uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as both a, a group act with Ike and Tina Turner in 1991 mm -hmm. and a solo artist uh, recently in 2021. The other, other women who have done that has been Stevie Nicks and Carol King were inducted okay. as a group and or a group as, 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 as two separate times as, a, as an individual artist and for sure. another group or other award. So, Hmm. Um, you know, Tina Turner at all, certainly she had a very you know, challenging, difficult, abusive marriage to Ike Turner, very public. Uh, she was able to get out of that and make a uh, continue on with a very successful solo career, uh, really kind of hitting her peak in the 80s with, as I mentioned, what's love got to do with it. One of the most popular videos in the early 80s was, was that video of her walking down the street with just her long, beautiful legs and everything. She did some acting as well. You might remember she was... Mad the, Max. That's right. Also sang the title song of the movie, Mad Max yep. Beyond Thunderdome, the sequel, uh, the third, I think, Mad Max movie. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Just great voice, great performer, um, huge stage presence, so... You know, certainly rest in peace, uh, Tina. Uh, Dean, any thoughts on uh, Tina Turner you want to add here to recognize, remember? Um, we we keep saying this as we uh, as we go through, you know, different celebrities dying, um, and we do the rest in peace and and in memoriam mm -hmm. on this segment. But honestly, if there is anybody in this pop culture zeitgeist that needs like the ultimate, you know, flowers. She is definitely one of them. Tina Turner is music, um, especially in, like, female music, not just what she does or did, I'm sorry, uh, what she did, you know, on the records or in the movies, but, like, what she went through to get where she was in the industry. Right. Um, and of course, we all saw it with the um, with the movie, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, what she did and continued to do up until you know she you know contracted this illness is just remarkable. She she was female empowerment personified. Yeah, she was. What you know, she is what. If if it's not for her, there's no Beyonce. If it's not for her, there is no Katy Perry. If you know sure. what I mean, and it, and it goes on and on and on. Um, Tina Turner is you know everybody says that, that James Brown was the Godfather. Is she the Godmother? I mean, it doesn't have the you know quite the I ring they, to they it. Call her the call her the Queen. They call her the Queen of Rock. The Queen. Yeah. And and shit, even at this point, that doesn't do her justice of what she meant and did for not only the industry, but pop culture in general, in my opinion. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, she, she will reign supreme in the um, 
annals of, of, of history of, of not just rock and roll or R and B, but music in general. Sure. So, I mean, Godspeed, you know, as they say, rest in power now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Tina Turner, you know, was a badass. Always be a badass. God bless. Absolutely. Now, Nick, she was certainly before your your time when she was very popular, but uh, are you yeah, a fan kinda. of all Tina Turner? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, definitely very familiar with Tina Turner and her music and all that stuff. Um, you know, you guys covered all the bases pretty well. I don't know what more to add, but and uh, certainly put it more eloquently than I'm about to, but just what a fucking legend <laughs> like seriously sure. just i mean truly legendary absolutely um you know timeless no, somebody that'll, response. that'll go down uh forever in history is just being a legend and being a force and so uh yeah just just incredible it seemed like i mean you know certainly <laughs> many many degrees from absolutely you know knowing or having any idea of who tina turner was on a personal level i obviously don't know her none of us did but uh she seemed like a very pleasant person every time we you don't ever be saw very her, surprised if any of us <laughs> made sweet, that yeah. revelation yeah, you guys never knew that i used to hang out with tina turner have i not mentioned that on the what? Podcast? um but yeah she just always seemed very pleasant very uh warm and just i don't know she just just what a beautiful soul i think you know she seemed like so uh yeah absolutely just truly legendary so rest in peace tina turner absolutely like you say, definitely ins inspirational in many ways. If may, even, I'm sure plenty of ladies, even not necessarily musically, but just the fact that she overcame such a terrible, abusive relationship, got out of it, persevered in her life and put that behind her and was able to achieve success in life. That in itself, Absolutely. I'm sure, was, yeah. was uh, inspirational to a lot of a lot of women and people who might be in, might have been in a similar situation. For sure. All right. Hey there, if you like that video, or if you just like to watch us make fools of ourselves, please like and subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate it, and we hope to see you back here.